What's good, all my trader and investor homies? This is Touchdown Trades. My name is Kevin. I'm your trading BFF in your stock market bestie. In today's video, we're going to be discussing all things highly on stock. It's been on a roller coaster ride over the last few months. It's been a crazy ride in highly on. In today's video, we're going to talk about whether the crash is over, whether Hylion has found a base and is ready to head back higher. We're going to talk about some recent news, some recent updates, go over some important levels on the chart. So you're going to want to stay tuned if you are a big green monster investor like myself. You may notice the setting is a little bit different. I'm not in the touchdown trade studio and bunker right now because I just got so depressed over the election. I really thought Kanye West was going to win. So when I realized he was not going to win the election, Kanye was just going to remain a rapper and not the president, I decided I need to get away for a little bit, decompress. So I'm at my family's land. We got some land in North Carolina, some property in North Carolina. So I'm kind of here just chilling out, decompressing, getting this election depression off my chest. I, Kanye, I thought he was going to be a great president. I really had a lot of hopes that he was going to win, but it didn't look good for him. So I decided to take a vacation, but the market never sleeps. So we're going to be breaking down highly on stock. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I only ask one favor each video. I only ask one favor and that's to like the button. Just go down there and start clicking all the buttons and like the button. All right, let's jump into highly on stock, some news, some updates and break down the chart. Let's get it. Before we get started though, check out the link in the description for Webull after the video is over because they're offering an amazing deal right now. The best broker out there, Webull just released their new desktop platform. It's amazing. They're not offering one or two free stocks. They're offering three free stocks. So they're offering three free stocks and you have a chance to get a share of Facebook, Google, Starbucks. It's a great offer, the best offer out there. So check it out after the video is over. Link in the description. All right, so Hylion has been on a crazy ride over the last couple months. It's been tough to be a Hylion investor. It's been a tough to be a believer of the big green monster because we ran up, hit highs of $58 a share, and then we've since crashed down, found a base at $15, and that we've had a very strong last couple of days hitting that $15 level and currently trading up over $23. We're up about 20, a little more than 20% over the last three trading days or so. And so what caused this crash? Well, it's really simple, honestly. So you had a lot of retail traders, so-called dumb money, buying up here near the highs, expecting a post-merger push, right? A post-merger run-up. Smart money, institutional hedge funds and institutional traders, when they see small orders come through, 50 shares, 100 shares, 25 shares, they know that's retail money coming into the stock. And when they see that, the trapping is available. They're ready to pounce and trap those retail traders. So what the smart institutional market making money did is they got short up here at the highs right after the merger. And they rode this thing back down and it's the most obvious case of market manipulation I have ever seen. They made money on the way up, they rode it up and then they rode it down. And you had retail traders stopping out all the way down, big money getting short all the way down and it just created a selling frenzy. You hear a lot about buying frenzy. This was a selling frenzy. You have people up here stuck and their brokers buying them in on margin calls and it was just selling, selling, selling for the last few weeks. But if you're a highly on investor, there's good news and I think the selling has subsided and that the selling, the short sellers are about to get trapped. So we've found a base here at this $15 support that was created back here on some very high volume trading days and we're, we're bouncing off that level and we're heading higher. So do I think we're headed back up immediately to these highs at $58 a share? No, unfortunately I don't. But I do think we're gonna slowly work our way back up 
slowly move higher, but I think it's going to take some revenue, some earnings expectations getting beat in order for us to get back up to $58 a share. And unfortunately, we're going to have to be patient as highly on investors. I do think it's going to the moon, but we're going to have to be patient because we're not expected to see an increase in manufacturing, an increase in production, and an increase in revenue until late 2023, closer to 2024, when they get that manufacturing online and down pat. So there's only really three catalysts that can move highly on stock higher. The one we already talked about, earnings expectations getting beat. Number two, that would be news catalysts, right? Making new deals, new partnerships, that type of catalyst. And number three, a short squeeze. A short squeeze, I think, is very likely. And what that entails is you have a bunch of people getting short, short all the way down. They're opening short positions. And when the stock starts to rebound, what happens? These people who got short in this area, they stop out. And in order to stop out of a short position, you have to buy into the stock. And that creates the opposite of a selling frenzy. That creates a buying frenzy. And you also have the FOMO buyers coming in, the people chasing the stock higher. So it just creates short sellers stopping out, FOMO buyers coming in, and that creates the short squeeze. And it can create a move like we saw back here. So I do think a short squeeze could happen. But I really think the real move is going to come when the earnings beats happen, when this when the revenue starts flowing in and they beat these earnings expectations. And I think this is a $100 stock within the next two, three years, let me explain. So Hylion is expecting to have revenue by late 2023 of close to $3 billion. Right now, we're trading with a market cap of only $3.8 billion. If they can just match, if they can only match those earnings numbers that they're projecting, I think personally that they can beat those numbers. But if they can only match, that's going to give us a price to sales ratio of a little more than one. And that is just too low of a price to sales ratio for a growth company, for a growth stock. Because it's just growth companies, you're more focused on revenue than you are earnings net profit. You're more focused on just getting that revenue up first and then focusing on profit later. I want to see the revenue come in. Let's take a look at another growth stock to compare it to. So I am going to compare it to Tesla's numbers, Tesla's ratios. And I know you Tesla bulls out there, me included, you're going to say Tesla's not a car company. Tesla's not just a trucking company. You can't compare highly on the Tesla. Tesla has robo taxis, autonomous driving, solar, and common consumer EV. But they're both growth companies, and growth companies should have similar price to sales ratios. And let's say, Hylion, right now Tesla has a price to sales ratio of 15. 15 after being well more established versus a company like Hylion, who's still in its infancy. But let's say, let's give Hylion a price to sales ratio of just five, one third that of Tesla. And Hylion is supposed to be seeing growth, revenue growth of upwards of 100% for the next several years, similar to the early growth of Tesla. Sure, they're not going to match Tesla's revenue, but that's why ratios are very important. And we're going to see Hylion's price to sales ratio just start to drop, drop, drop. And I think it deserves a price to sales ratio of at least five. So if we see a er earnings revenue of three billion dollars in er late 2023, I think it should have a market cap of 15 billion dollars at a minimum. If it does see that market cap, that growth, then we need to see highly on 5x in price by 2024. So right now, is Hylion too cheap? Absolutely, it's too cheap. If it's going to hit revenue of almost $3 billion by 2024, and I expect that revenue to just steadily climb in years to come, it is too cheap. I think a price to sales ratio of 5, 6, 7, 8, even 9 is warranted, making this stock need to 5, 6, 7, 8x in the next couple of years. So we're trading down here at $20. $3, it's just flat out too cheap. 
if we see a 5x in the price to sales ratio, and I think we, we're going to beat those earnings expectations in my opinion. I think this, you guys know why I like Hylion. I've talked about it a hundred times in previous videos. The bridge effect, you got total EV on the other side of the bridge. You got diesel on this side of the bridge. Hylion is going to be that bridge for the trucking industry to move over to total EV. That migration is going to need to take place. But the truckers are skeptical of EV and they're going to need a hybrid powertrain solution to walk them across that bridge. But I want to focus on the price to sales ratio to prove my point. So if Tesla or Hi if Hylion sees a revenue growth that we expect to see, then this stock is a $75 stock in the next three, four years. And it has hit a bottom here at 15. I fully expect this $15 level to hold. But like I said, I don't think it's gonna blast right back up to these all-time highs. I see this stock consolidating. We, we are coming into some resistance that was formed by this gap. And traditionally, gaps are tough resistance to get through. So I could see us coming up, testing that level, consolidating for a little bit, blasting through that resistance, then consolidating on that support, and then testing the next level. So I do think it's going to take some time for us to get back up to $50, $60 a share. But we could see some news come out. If the short squeeze happens, that could be a big deal. Also, if, it, if we need to wait for the earnings, the manufacturing to pick up and that earnings revenue to come in, so be it. I'm in this thing for the long haul. I think this company is extremely, extremely undervalued, even at this $23 level. I've been buying from $25 all the way down, and I will continue to buy if we see any more pullbacks. And I think we are trading over $30 a share by the end of the year. That's right, I'm calling it here. We're making a call, a price target, a price forecast, a price prediction, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling $30 a share on Hylion stock by the end of 2020. That's right. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you got something from it. If you did, make sure you like the button. If you're not yet a subscriber, what in the world are you waiting on? Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so you get alerted every time we post a video. Also, Check out that link for Weeble. The deal is amazing. That deal that they're offering is the best deal out there. In my opinion, it's the best broker out there. So check it out. All right, guys. Until next time, peace out, trader homies. <laughs>